In my hand, I have the Crytek Trident SBR. This gun can shoot up to 400 FPS with 0.2 gram BBs. However, I'd recommend using a 2.8 BB in this gun. It's recommended that you use a 9.6 volt batter, butterfly type battery, which basically means it's in two pieces. That way it can fit in the stock. I really do like these Crytek stocks. They're probably my favorite M4 stock. They're really comfy on your shoulder. I like the padding on the back. They're also really easy to open. Crytek also makes really nice pistol grips down here. They're grooved for your fingers, as well as a flat trigger, which are really nice. If you want to shoot fast, it makes it real easy. Uh, it also has a functioning bolt release. So you press this button on the side. Pretty cool little realism factor to it. It also comes with some rails, some side rails, if you want any kind of attachments. It's a pretty lightweight gun, say around five pounds. Um, this is threaded if you take off the flash hider. So if you want to add any kind of attachments, anything like that, it's pretty nice. This gun also does have an adjustable hop-up with version 2 gearbox, so it's very versatile, very moddable, you can do anything with this gun. It also comes with a nice full metal frame. Everything on this gun you see is metal besides the pistol grip and the stock. So that's pretty much all I have today to talk about so we can get on with the shooting. Don't my torch, I refuse to be funny. This is the Crytek Trident. Uh, I don't believe it's upgraded. So, give it the shooting test. I'm gonna start with semi auto. Full auto. Pretty nice. That concludes the shooting test of the Crytek Trident. Performed pretty good. Um, the hop-up's pretty nice on it. Gives you a lot of adjustability. So that's it.